I know, I know. It's the very last day for the first Monster Hunter Wilds beta, but the DLSS frame gen mod has been updated this morning and finally is working in the beta test properly. So I wanted to show you guys how to get it installed and at least have it ready for next week when the beta is finally back. This is going to be huge for RTX 20 series users and 30 series users. This video is mainly for people with those cards. I'm a 3090 user myself, but you already know by now our cards cannot use frame gen. Only the 40 and 50 series can, but with this mod, it allows us to use it with a work around for FSR and it looks way better than the default FSR in the beta right now. Important to note, performance in this beta is not the updated build the benchmark currently is, so nobody is getting good performance in this beta unless you have a 40, 70 or higher, but even then, 60 frames per second is hard to achieve in this build overall. <laughs> the devs have said that it's optimized for the full launch. We'll know for sure when we see it, but I want to showcase you guys how to get this working. Major shout outs to Nukem. He actually created this mod a while ago, but it was updated recently, as you can see. Uh, uh, well, I downloaded it today, but it was updated recently on the 8th of February, yesterday morning. So what we're going to do is we're going to download a DLSS to FSR 3.0 universal one. We're going to manually download it. You need an account in order to download from Nexus Mods. It's free to make one. Then click slow download. Let it take its time. It's not too big of a file, so it shouldn't take too long. Uh, yeah, there it is. It's already done, but we're not done just yet. Now we're going to download DLSS Swapper, so this way we can get the new FSR, or you can take the files from the Monster Hunter benchmark, but I'm just going to show you guys how to do this so we can future-proof things. You know, download the installer right there. It shouldn't take too long as well, and get that squared away. Now we're going to download NVPI. This is going to allow us to use Preset Render K for DLSS. Again, not that we need to use K for this, but it's just to future-proof and cover all bases, so... And download the NV NVPI revamp zip. I'm going to be linking all of this in the description down below. Now that we have DLSS Swapper installed, if you haven't yet, run the EXE, install it on your C drive. We're going to open this up and you're going to see it has a catalog of all of your games that it can detect on your PC. Right now, it already sees that Monster Hunter Wilds has the latest DLSS for me embedded, but I'm going to show you guys real quick how to get it. We're going to download this one right here. That's the latest as DLSS 4, actually. And then we're going to go to frame gen. We're also going to download the first one there. And just to be safe, we're going to download the latest FSR 3.1. We're going to download it right there. And the Vulcan version, we're going to download it as well. Now, I've been seeing a lot of comments where people say, if you do this already, the game will read it just fine. But like I said, just to cover all bases, let's just be safe. And we're going to click export all on the top right here. I'm going to save it to my desktop. It's going to make a zip folder with all the DLSS that we have downloaded. Okay, this is the zip file that it made. Put it on my desktop. This won't show up for you guys. I just have it like this because it's what I selected for my previous games. So we have all the files that we need right here, but we're not going to get started with that yet. I'm going to go to the MVPI that we downloaded, open up the zip folder, and we're going to take this revamp right here, and we're going to take it and drag it to your desktop. And also keep in mind, uh, let's take these two disable and enable UI folders, throw them in there. Okay, now we have the revamped in there. We can actually close it out. Now we're going to open that up. Let's go ahead and enable DLSS UI. After, you can click disable because you don't want that HUD to be popping up constantly in your game. Now we're going to double click and open up Profile Inspector. On your global driver, we're going to go down to SR Preset. We're going to set it to Preset K, which is the DLSS that we're going to be using so it can actually read it properly. We're going to go to DLLL, that latest frame gen DLL, and we're going to change that to on. And that's all we should need to do. So we're going to click apply changes. That should save. Close that out. And now we are done with that program. Now we need to go into Steam. We're going to right click on the beta test. We're going to open up our browse local files. Go back to our desktop and we'll put this right here. So now we got to take our files and put them in there. Let's actually put the DLSS in there first. So we're going to go into DLSS swapper, which is filled with all the zip files that I already created. So we're going to take that and put that one in there replace boom boom now every single one of these we're going to put these in here as well just like i said just to cover all bases i know that there is a much uh faster way to do it but not it's not going to work every time for everybody's rig right so we're going to throw that amd in there as well i'm going to say like yes replace all of these because we're updating the files they have the older outdated ones in there and now we're done with that now we're going to go to the dlss to fsr program that we had downloaded and inside of this folder, we're going to click the DLL version. This is the latest one. And all we got to do is we got to copy this and this. And we're going to drag that into Monster Hunter Wilds beta test's base folder. You'll see it right there. 
and there you go we're pretty much done we don't need to do anything else now a major disclaimer to note is that this mod will not work or you sh it sh you shouldn't be using it if a game has cheat engine built into it currently the beta from Austin hunter wilds doesn't have cheat engine built into it i don't know if the launch title will have it as well but the wait and see on that if anybody knows please comment down below it also says that rtx card is required to use this mod now let's boot up the monster hunter wilds beta and see how everything is running i'm gonna go to a single player lobby just to make sure things are running good on the bottom left you can see the render preset for me is set to k and it's using the well trying to use at least or read dlss4 you see it says that at the bottom now the ui is buggy because this specific ui isn't embedded into the game so the frame gen is not actually properly uh allocating it to our screen but now we we know that render preset k is working but nothing else in the ui is actually bugging out and also our frame gen is already on because i was running some tests with it earlier but by for you guys it might not be enabled you're gonna have to disable it but you'll see uh i'm actually running a where does it say my pc specs right here it's a 3090 card those are my specs i have it on dlss balance right now and we're currently on let's just let's go to ultra right we'll go to ultra this is it on balance the ui at the bottom left is kind of trippy i should have turned that off but you'll see i i have more smooth frames than i ever had before as a matter of fact let's pull up uh nvidia to read it on top right let it read Got a video always it's a little bit jank in the beginning so it's uh 70 ish frames right now right 70 72 whatever uh we could actually tweak it even more if you want to improve your latency in any way you could use medium preset and yeah like i said the game's gonna be much more optimized on launch but uh if you want to have at least over 60 frames and enjoy this game in that way you totally can the ui in the bottom left of the screen was bothering me so i'm going to open back up mvpi we're going to disable dlss ui because we know it's running preset k and that is functioning properly there we go i removed the hud on the bottom left because it was bothering me but you'll see that uh, frame gen is functioning in the game we have over 60 frames right now and uh yeah that is how you can get frame generation working on your 20 series or your 30 series card so this way if you are not financially capable of upgrading right now you can totally take advantage of that and finally use frame generation now you can do this in a lot of other games but like i said if they have a cheat engine built in don't use it in a multiplayer game don't get banned for it this is just a uh a video to experiment with your rig and try to get squeeze a little bit more power or uh use out of it than you could before i know there's a lot of people that don't necessarily like frame generation again this video is not for you this is just a video for us lowly 20 series and 30 series owners that don't have these capabilities built into it and uh just want to play the game play the game however you want man seriously just play the game however you want but that's how you get it guys enjoy monster hunter wilds whatever time is left of the beta the devs did say they're going to be inputting an extra day not this week or next week but on a following day due to the outages on playstation network that some people weren't able to enjoy but obviously this is a video that is geared towards the pc demographic so hopefully that does apply to everybody we all overall get an extra day to play this beta comment down below if you guys enjoyed this if this helped you out if you're running into any other issues i'm happy to help give you a little bit more assistance on that side of things guys monster hunter wilds on our instant gaming link down below pinned in the comments is super cheap you can get it for 55 dollars get a steam code delivered directly to you you can also get it for 71 if you want the deluxe edition and for the premium edition it is 86 dollars. that is significantly discounted because on steam for this one you'd be paying 70 bucks for this one you'd be paying 90 and for this one you'd be paying 110 so you guys haven't yet secure your copy of monster hunter wilds down below or you can even refund the previous one you bought on steam and buy this one to save money do what you got to do be sure to like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe if you are new more monster hunter wilds videos are on the way and you don't want to miss them my name is blitz and thanks for watching